What's up guys and welcome back to this war of mine. I wasn't sure when or if I was going to revisit this series. I know that on average the videos get a little bit less interest than some other videos I do, but recently I've had... God, like half a dozen people at least either tell me in person or message me or make a comment asking, you know, when are we going to see more of this War of Mine? I really like this series, so I thought, if people actually enjoy it, then I'll keep playing because I love this game. This is a lot of fun. Oh man, you're still broken. Go talk to him, will you? It's been like days. This is... Oh, this is... He's down here and he's broken. Okay, fix him. What are you saying, Pavel? Hungry, depressed, tired. You can go to sleep as well. Man, the, the camp is in rough shape. Like I said last time, we, we have a lot of food, but we've been doing a lot of shitty things. Like, we've been killing people for their food. Some innocent, some definitely not innocent. So, it's been kind of rough, but uh, but we're going to try to get Marco back into usable shape here. Hopefully, he uh, he doesn't try to jump off the edge here. Okay, great. So, we found fertilizer last time, and now we're going to be able to use that fertilizer for our uh, mousetrap. So we can catch mice and that'll give us raw meat. What do these guys want? This is probably not good. We're looking for a thief. Do you know anything? Citizens, several days ago, someone from their neighborhood stole supplies from a humanitarian aid container. These supplies are vital to us. They're a reward for us for seizing the culprit. One of your neighbors was reportedly sniffing around the container and we have reasons to believe he took some supplies. Can you confirm our suspicions? We will give you 18 cigarettes, coffee, and food. Oh, man. Like, I could... I could sell out my neighbor and then get all this food, but I've been doing so many shitty things, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna say no, close the door, we need to wipe our conscience clean, we need to start getting, uh, some happy feelings here. Can we, what can we do for you? Can we bring you food? Are you hungry? Yeah, you're really tired. Can you go to bed? Still can't move. Crap. Okay, we're gonna give him food, because I can never remember, you only need to eat every other day. They won't starve to death if you eat every other day, but I can never remember what day I ate and which one I didn't. So, I think today is gonna be an eating day. I think today we're gonna get everybody fed. Oh, Marco's only depressed now. Good, 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 the food made him better. There's no way we're going to snitch those soldiers. Solidarity between neighbors is important. Yeah, so that's great. That means um, we did a nice thing and we feel better. That's great. It's a really good thing I didn't snitch for that food. I'm pretty sure that would have been what put Marco over the edge. Yes, Marco, go to bed. Good, good, good. So we have way more guns than we need now. We have a shotgun, an assault rifle, three pistols, I think. So if a trader comes, we can actually start trading pistols for like... Ooh, it's nighttime. We can start trading pistols for things that are important, like more bandages, more foods, just anything really, because we don't need a gun. More guns than we have people. Who's this? Pavel, you're actually getting pretty good at guitar. Like, he, he sucked a couple episodes ago, but now he's like... Almost music. I think we're gonna go to the semi-detached house, because it says danger, but it says they aren't hostile. I know you guys can't read that, it's underneath my head, I'm sorry. There's just, there's no good place to put my head in this game. Uh, it's not hostile, but they have lots of stuff to trade, and we want to trade away some guns for food, so maybe that'll be our first stop tonight. So I'm gonna take three guns with us, but I pretty much plan on trading them all away, but I can use one for defense if I need to. I think that's a good idea. Okay, how do we... How do we get in here? Okay, here we go. So there is some scavenging in this place. It's not just, uh, not just people. It looks like there's some things lying around. Yeah, so there's the trader. And, but we're gonna take a look around this kind of like broken part of the house first, because if we can find stuff like water... Fine with taking some water. This part looks like it's all been barred off. Can we not get through here? Oh, we can pull it off. Okay, that's not a big deal. Okay, we do not need that many parts of this stuff. We need wood. Wood is good. What is this? The crude letters on the wall read, Hannah Thomas and me moved in with Uncle Radu. We buried Mom in the backyard. Take care, Daddy. Petra. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be relevant later or not. Okay, well, let's see if the trader has anything... Anything worth trading. Let me see. Do you... Do you like guns? Guns? Do you like guns? Okay, well, I have three guns. So what can you give me for guns? I could use bandages. I could use food... Oh... Really? 
Bandages and food isn't enough for three guns. What kind of con you trying to, to pull here, guy? Okay, fine. Five cigarettes and uh, some more bandages for the next time someone gets shot for three guns. This was kind of uneventful. What do... So, you guys aren't happy with me. If I... Can I go in here? Are you guys okay with me coming in? I don't know how they feel about me being in here. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Don't, don't hurt me. Uh... Okay. So, if we ever want to come back here and, you know, mess some people up, we know where to go, but uh, that's definitely trespassing, so let's let's just go for the night. I think that's enough. We got some food, it's better than nothing, but overall, a little bit disappointing. Please, please, please no raid, please no raid, please no raid. Do the no raid dance. Do the no raid dance. God damn it. Roman's feeling much better, we just have to keep an eye on him. Marco is feeling much better, we just have to keep an eye on him. And we used nine ammunition killing people to keep all our stuff. Rig. Yeah, so Marco is okay, and Roman is okay. So I, I got a Steve achievement that just said, uh, back from the brink. So I guess that means that we're we're all right now. Nobody's gonna die? I like nobody dying. Can we make more food? Oh, sweet. We can just keep doing that. That's awesome. Okay, so let's see what we can build for our home, because it's been a while since we've added something. And we have some components now. Let's... Yeah, I like the idea of boarding up something. What are we going to board up? We got another hole around here? Yeah, let's board this up. So that'll... We've already boarded up... Um, what do we get already? We got this. This used to be a giant hole in our house. And we got... This. This used to be a giant hole in our house. So now we're going to board this up. Everything will be nice and secure. And nobody will be able to come in and steal our stuff. Or cost us a crap ton of ammunition every night. Ooh, we can make a helmet. Let's make that. What do you mean, screw this? If we can't reach an agreement, we won't survive. What? I think he's starting to lose his mind. Just build the helmet, man. It's great. We have a helmet and we have a body armor now, so we can go uh, crack some skulls. And the game just crashed. God, lost all the progress because I guess the autosave only kicks in every morning, so everything we did, I had to redo. Anyways, we're back. Everybody's fine, but I got to take that time to see where we should go next. And apparently, there are some interesting things to go down in the brothel. Now, I wasn't sure who we should bring because there may be some combat involved, but apparently wounded people can still fight just as well. So we are going to send Roman in and we are going to guard with Bruno and everybody else can sleep. And we are going in guns ablazing because we don't know. I don't know if this is going to be combat or not, but we need saws. We need toothpicks. Toothpicks. We need lockpicks. Our teeth are fine. Bring our helmet, that, we're bring our knife. We're gonna bring our shotgun and enough ammo to kill an army. We're not gonna spend a whole lot of time scavenging. I'm just gonna, if we can pick up some wood on the way, then I'll be happy with this. We're not gonna try to pick up a whole lot. Let's see what this is. Can you, can you go down here? You're so, you're so slow. What does this say? Trash mostly. Among it lies a fashionable handbag, torn as if someone had ripped it open, not sparing any thought to damaging the zipper. A tiny frame photo of a young man in a pocket notebook. Whoever tossed this here wasn't their owner. So there are some shenanigans going on in this brothel, and you would imagine a wartime brothel is probably uh, probably a little bit shady. So we're not going to try to run into anybody. I don't. Oh no, we don't want to be here. We want to go up. I think we can go. We can go up here. Can you still jump? Okay, good. I was afraid he might not be able to jump if he was wounded, but... Can you not jump anymore? Jump up there. Oh, we can jump. Okay, excellent. Okay, go over here. And we can break into this. Because we brought a saw. Okay, we're in. So this is a stabby spot, I believe. Yep, that's a stabby spot. I don't know if we should be scavenging a whole lot here, but... Pull this off. Yep, we'll pull that off. Is it looking everywhere else? Pretty quiet. Let's take a quick peeksy doodle. I think we're okay. I will steal some stuff, though. I'm down for stealing. Meds. Yup. We'll go. What is that? Broken assault rifle, 
Books? I think we want books. I think books are pretty valuable. Okay. So we need to be real quiet. So close that door behind us. No problems at all. Nobody, nobody yet. We're stealing lots of great stuff, though. As he says, as you find nothing but shitty electrical parts. And a cigarette that we don't need. I think we're going to have to go downstairs, in which case we are going to have to be ready for combat mode. Because... Shit, is that a guy there? Let's, let's just start hobbling downstairs real quick. There should be a locked door here somewhere. Okay, guys are downstairs. That's okay. Won't open. Why? Why won't it open? Oh crap! 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 Let's let's get in here real quick. Let's get in here real quick. Yeah, you you just close that door. You need you get your sleep. You know what? You need your beauty rest. You are quite the ugly mug. And you know what? If you have food. I'll take it. Meds and food. It is a good day. So if nothing else, we are leaving here with lots of good stuff. But that's not, not what we came for. Oh crap. Oh crap. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Uh, knife. Oh my god. Don't you close that door. Maybe here? Oh, we don't have a lot of time to get back. That's what I'm, I'm worried about now. Oh, we can leave through here. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Kill him, kill him, kill him, just, just make him dead. Okay, no, 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 you know what, we're leaving, goodbye! <gasps> no, Roman! Oh god, that sucks so much. Cause he had he had a gun, he had ammo, he had our helmet and our body armor and lockpicks, all that ammunition that we found, all the medicine that we found, the food that we found, and he died, so everybody is gonna be super depressed. And he was our combat guy. Oh, this is just the worst. And you know what, to top it off, we've been raided, so forget. Rome was killed last night. I'm glad it wasn't me. I have to be careful. <laughs> yes, by Bruno. I don't give a shit. Marco, if we can't protect our own, how can we make it through this hell? Well, you guys were the original three, so you know what? It's not the end of the world, but it sucks. A lot. I think that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. We will avenge Marco. It it will happen. And we will accomplish what we went for in the brothel. I won't give anything away, but we went there to do something good. For once. For once, we don't try to harm people. We try to do good, and it gets someone killed. But thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.